Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. Coming to you live from Metricon Stadium. Joined now by Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. I'm excited for this one. Today's match, Skull Coast and the Tigers. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. Burst onto the ground, and boy, do they look ready. The fans should be in store for a big game today. That's true, Hutto. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains converge for the toss of the coin. The Tigers kicking to the left of screen. Round two. Both sides look ready to get into the action. Just moments away now. And here we go. It's Gold Coast taking on the Tigers. Friedrich just gets a boot to it. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Whitford uses it by foot. Bernardi looking to track down the footy. Wants to keep it moving. Uses it now. Smith with the mark. Puts it on the boot. Taking a nice grab. Uses it by foot. Taking a nice grab. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Yorston was surrounded. She needed to mark that. And she did. She drives it towards goal. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Slams it on the boot. Great mark in the pack. Just kicks it long. Takes an uncontested mark with the ball now. A chance to gather the ball. Linking by hand. Stanton with the ball. Oh, just hits the post. Looking to bring it back into play. Monaghan drives the kick. Hetman puts it out in front. Clears the congestion. Strong mark in the contest. Conti goes for territory. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Rushes with the kick. Mops up the loose ball. Goes for territory. Fails to fend off the tackler. Great tackling technique. Friedrich goes long and delivers the goal. The teammates rush over, and we have the first goal of the match. Taps it down. She's got the football now. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Ball up close to the boundary. One down. Well taken at ground level. Got the hands free. The ball spills from the tackle. Kicks hurriedly. Drops the ball. Well picked up. That tackle just too high. Puts boot to ball. Free going the way of Hewitt. She takes aim. That's a really poor finish there. Had to find a way to do better. 
Gold Coast get it back to under a goal. Considering the options on the kick in, plays it on. Sinks the slipper into it. Nobody can hold on here. One it down. Just gets a boot to it. Just goes bang. Campbell coming on. Hammers it with the ball now. Rides out the tackle. A chance to reload the attack now. Wants to keep it moving. The ball mopped up. Friedrich slams it onto the boot. Finding the loose ball was Ernst. Virgo gets a quick kick away. Watson got under it. Chose to kick it. Nice work from Dunn. Spears the ball. Good body work to win the mark. Decides to go to the middle. Does well to cut off the kick. Perry puts it on the boot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Dishes it off. She's got the football now. Gains some territory. Ball picked up. Finding the ball with ease. Finds the loose ball. Watson was taken high in the tackle. Decides to kick. Takes the mark. Works it across the ground. Virgo takes the mark. Cuts the kick inboard. Oh, she did everything right, except take the mark. They can create from this. Thank you, There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Decides to kick. Conti takes it strongly. Lobs the handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Riley keeps coming. Handball's out into space. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Brennan just swats it away. We'll have another ball up. Brennan guides it down. Dunn releases by hand. Stanton kicks hurriedly. Takes a nice mark. Moves the ball by foot. She takes the mark. Chose to kick it. Not long remaining in the opening term. Wins the race to the ball. The ball goes to ground. Putting her skills on display. Gives a don't argue. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening term. The score is Tigers 6 to Gold Coast 2. Richmond grew up and about early and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Gold Coast could have been winning enough of the ball to hit the scoreboard. If they're better with their efficiency, they can turn this around. Much appreciated, Gaz. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Punched away. Handballs to no one in particular. Gets the loose ball. She gets another possession. Bernardi rushes with the kick. She locks her chances from here. Somehow got the ball out. Whitford kicks an incredible goal off the ground. Pretty happy with that one. That's two in a row for Richmond. Ten points the difference. We're back in the middle now. Thump clear. Found a way to keep balance. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Handballs. Releases by hand. Great grab. 15 metres out. Stop. 
she can put it through. Smiles all round. Richmond doing well at the moment. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Has it now. Picks up the loose ball. Chips it towards half forward. Picks it up. The umpire calls for it. Clears the contest. Decides to keep it alive. Does well to keep it in play. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Umpire tosses it in. Brennan with the punch. Kaslak applying physical pressure. She couldn't get the hand pass away, so she just threw it. Bernardi leading the race to the loose ball. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Uses it by foot. Takes a simple grab. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Offline for a behind. Richmond lead is now 17. The mark has been taken. Goes with the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Kick by Butler. Whitford marks in a bit of space. So what could Richmond do with this opportunity in front of goal? Brandon coming onto the ground. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Richmond are getting first use from their ruckman. Missed the target. Kaslak throws the ball away. Friedrich uses the body well. Opportunity once again for Richmond to put one through. 50 metres from home, lining up from a 45-degree angle. A chance to put a second goal on the board. She slots this one. A big goal there. That pushes the lead further out. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Back with another centre bounce. Thumps it clear. Takes possession. Terrific mark there. Looks to move it by foot. Brennan with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Wow! How good was that? She sinks her first goal. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Celebrating hard. Thrashes it. She gets her hands on the footy. Campbell slick with the hands. Chips it towards half forward. She finds herself in space and marks. Keeps moving. Slams it on the boot. Intercepts the ball well. Goes by foot. Ball spills. Pittman picks up the loose ball. Pittman sends one up towards the wing. Ends up turning it over. Goes by hand. Hurried kick. Campbell takes it strongly. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Brandon will be the recipient of the free. Looking to kick goal number two. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. The lead is now 30. Deciding where to go with the kick in. The loose ball picked up. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. It's been turned over. Just put it on the boot. Open opportunity for Conti. The Tigers have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Doing well to intercept that kick. Gathers it now. Intercepted. Slams it onto the boot. Didn't fumble. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Watson tucks it into the pocket. Kaslak does well to mark. With a driving kick. Easily takes the mark.
It's marked by Dunn. Puts it on the boot. Good mark there. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Use the hands and gives away the free. She decides to go for home. You can see that happening right after it left her boot. Richmond beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 33 to 2. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays on from the kick in. Ernst kicks it. Ends up turning this ball over. Chooses to play on. She drives it towards goal. Good mark. That's it for the first half. What can you tell us, Gas? The Tigers have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Richmond getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Thanks for that, Gary. It's half time, but don't go anywhere. Third quarter action is coming your way next. The third quarter about to get underway. Won it down. She's got the footy in her hands. Campbell there to mop up. Virgo earns the free for that tackle. Unable to create the space. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Whitford goes with the kick. Great mark under pressure. Uses it now. Great mark. Kicks to the square. Stanton just gets it onto the boot. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Finds a bit of room to mark. She can put it through. Always look like a behind. 32 points the difference. Ernst looking to bring it back into play. Alex to kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Alex to keep moving. Bernardi has a great set of hands. 25 metres out. Move it on! Going for goal number one. Richmond supporters delighted by that effort. She's really enjoying that goal. Richmond have six unanswered goals. The margin is 38. Bala won the hit out. Picked up now. Gets the handball the way. Just gets it onto the boot. A solid mark from Bernardi. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. On. Going for goal number two. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. And that puts them further in front. They get around her after that effort. Richmond doing well at the moment. One down. Here's Conti. Conti won herself a free. Decides to go to the middle. Sees off the tackler. Hacks it out of there. Loses control of the ball. Mops up the loose ball. Dug out the loose ball. Goes off the ground. Ball up call. The sting has been taken out of the game right now. She can take off after that handball. Pittman sends it through the big sticks for a goal. That will settle her nerves. Gets her first on the board. Look at them celebrate that effort. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. Gold Coast are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. They just need to convert those into scores. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. A clean pickup. Needs a bit of a rest. Didn't disguise that well enough. And it's been called deliberate. 
Watson runs onto the field. Moved on by Ross. Finds a target. It's a long kick. Can't take possession. Gets the loose ball. Slams it onto the booth. Ends up turning this ball over. Conti elects to kick. Yorston wins the foot race. My ball, says the umpire. Punches are clear. She gains the possession. Through for a point. Richmond Clee is now 39. Doing well to intercept that kick. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Got hands to it. Teammates break for her. Takes a simple grab. The kick from Bella. A strong pack mark. Whitford drives the kick. The ball ends up going to ground. Pushes through with power. Keeps it moving. Is in her possession. Well taken at ground level. She takes the mark. 45 metres out. She likes her chances from here. A drop part through the goals. They stretch their lead with that effort. She celebrates hard after that. The lead is now 46. About to resume hostilities. Taps it down. She's in charge of the ranking points. She's on fire at the moment. She has the ball. Watson might have overworked herself there. Penetrating handball. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Yorston knows the pressure of the kick. A huge moment if she can convert. Puts boot to ball. Conti looks to get onto the football. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Moves it by foot. And the mark will be paid. Sinks the slipper into it. Hewitt failing to get near it, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. The mark has been taken. Campbell has resources out wide. Nice mark under pressure. Stabs at the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Movement by hand. She has the ball. They just need to find a way to work back into the game right now. The handball hits the target. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Releases the handball. Hits the target by hand. Umpire calls for the ball. Hammers it. The umpire will ping her for deliberate. Got boot to ball. Gets into some space to mark this. With quick hands. She's got the footy in her hands. Nobody can hold on here. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to her and give her some instructions. Kassler elects to kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to kick. Three-quarter time. Richmond, 54, plays Gold Coast, eight. A quarter of footy to go. Richmond will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Let's see what the stats have to show. Gold Coast can't getting their hands to the ball in the contest. The modern game is all about winning the hard ball, and they're not doing that today. Thanks for that, Gaz. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Picked off by Gorston. Is in her possession. Receives the handball and takes off. Linking by hand. Ends up marking uncontested. Good opportunity for Gold Coast to put a goal through here. 
She takes aim. The Suns close the gap to 45. Takes the mark. Looks up with a kick. Intercepts the ball well. Wants to move it quickly. The mark is taken by Yorston. 40 metres from home. A desperately needed goal here. Chalk a goal up the Gold Coast. Boy, did they ever need that. Yorston love kicking that one. Gold Coast produced the margin. Punched away with the ball now. Cleanly picked up. Chose to kick it. A chance to reload the attack now. Richmond just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Slick with the hands. The long driving goal from Stanton. Gets some reward for her efforts. The margin's big, but there should be enough time left to play. Guides it down. Wasting a lot of effort there. Charges with intent. She gains the possession. They can link up now. Hurried kick. Found space for an easy mark. Keeps it moving. Going for goal number one. Touched over the line and through for a minor. Looking for options now. Takes that one strongly. Goes with the kick. Smith landed in it back on this occasion. Sinks the slipper into it. Monaghan used the body to take that mark. Just gets a hand in. Going for goal number one. Gold Coast. Seen one home. It's home. Can that goal be the spark? She acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast could kick the last three goals. The Suns now only trail by 26. Brennan gets onto the ball. Campbell drives it out of the pack. Does well to cut off the kick. Works it across the ground. Quickly onto the boot. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Campbell moves it now. Ends up turning this ball over. Chips it towards half board. Nice mark under pressure. A low stabbing kick. Riley gets on the end of this. Wants to keep moving. Marks now and can send it back. Uses it across half back. Marks that ball uncontested. A good job keeping it in play there. Gets a quick kick away. The mark is taken by Monaghan. Got boot to ball. A strong mark in the pack from Campbell with a driving kick. Smith takes a strong mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Searching for a teammate. A good mark under the circumstances. Decides to kick. Can't take the mark. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Gets it away. Bentman just dismissed the tackler. Looking to kick goal number two. Now they've got to sit up and find a way to stop the ball movement. The Suns behind by 24. Richmond could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Just puts it out in front. Has a player running for her. Drop punt straight through the middle. She loved that one. That's four in a row for Gold Coast. The Suns behind by 18. That's a really good team goal. She did really well there and gets the reward. Richmond have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Gone! What a tackle! Outstanding pressure. Couldn't complete the mark. 
Ross takes it well at full stride, receives the handball. Has to do better in that mark contest. Slams it on the boot. Conti hangs on to that one. Moves it by foot. Ball collected. She just can't get out of the action. Intercepted. Virgo coming onto the ground. The umpire will ball it up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. The kick from Riley. Picked up under pressure. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Ball tossed back in. Thump by Bala. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Hits the target by hand. Ball gets cut off. Hewitt shoots, and that kick goes offline. And they continue to miss these opportunities. Trouble for Gold Coast. They need to kick a few now. What an incredible mark. Oh, that's a big grab. Gold Coast fans would love to see this one sail through. She's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. She's been outstanding here, Hunter. Hits the post, and it's a minor. They are really struggling in front of goal. Gold Coast now only trailed by 16. Ross deciding where to go with the kick in. Goes by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Moves the ball by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Manufactures a handball. The ball spills to Conti. A chance to put one through here for the Tigers. Real disappointment for fans, of course. The Suns. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? They weren't far off the mark. They just couldn't keep their momentum together for long enough. Thanks, Gaz. Risking hair and skin. If we're behind it, never mind. We'll fight and fight and win. For we're from Tigerland. We never weaken till the final siren's gone. Final scores are 8 6 54 to 5 8 38. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all later. Thanks, hello. Until next time, that is.